Can we recover from a sleep debt? I have been studying sleep for a long time. So even after I did my six years at university and, you know, working at Harvard labs and all the studies we did, uh, you know, blue light studies and studies around astronauts and their sleep and all these different areas and then going in and literally having lots of experience with lots of different types of patients. One thing that comes up and is really, really interesting is sleep debt. We feel as humans that we need to recover when we haven't slept and we need to recover it like for like, an eye for an eye. Four hours debt, got to recover four hours. But actually, it's not that simple. Firstly, you're never going to recover some of the stuff you lost from not sleeping, period. So that's just how it is. And then your brain is super smart and actually, Sometimes it doesn't need you to recover four hours because you lost four hours. Sometimes it's super good at just figuring out what stages of sleep you missed or you're lacking, and it just increases the amount of that stage of sleep that you need rather than increasing the duration significantly. Lastly, if you try to recover from sleep debt too much, so you use it as a regular tool, you don't think you're sleeping enough at night, and so you spend a lot of time outside of your usual sleep opportunity, perhaps by going to bed early, perhaps by lying in, perhaps by napping during the day, and you do this consistently over time, you're actually going to start desynchronizing from your natural sleep-wake cycle, which is going to lead to your brain getting confused and building another pattern. We often see that pattern as insomnia. So sleep debt, not quite as simple as we first thought.